Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to realclearpolling.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and comment, and subscribe. All right, everyone. Realclearpolling.com has Donald Trump at 48.4% and Koala Harris at 47.4%. Trump has a one-point lead over Koala, but don't get complacent. If you want Donald Trump to win, go out and make sure you vote. Don't vote early. Vote on Election Day if you want Trump to win. Also, if you want Kamala to win and these numbers concern you, don't wait. Go out on Election Day and vote like your life depends on it. We don't care who wins. It doesn't really matter because nothing will change. National Trump versus Harris has Harris at 49.2% and Trump at 48.2%. So they're kind of flipped. Top battlegrounds. Trump versus Harris. Trump has 48.4% and she has 47.4%, which we saw at the top. So they both have a one-point lead in different national versus battleground polling. Let's fill in that beautiful election map and see who wins today according to realclearpolling.com, not our opinion. Realclearpolling.com. Not our opinion. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes according to realclearpolling.com. Trump has a 0.8 lead making Nevada red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona with 11 electoral votes. According to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a 1.6 lead in Arizona, giving Trump those 11 electoral votes, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with 5 electoral votes is 2 clicks light blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris, making Nebraska at large red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. An interesting note about Texas is in 2020, it was pretty close between Biden and Trump, and in the end, he ended up pulling off the victory. Um, and it's been getting closer and closer to being purple instead of just heavy red. Some websites and polling, um, such as 271.com, has Texas as light pink, which is two clicks, but we're going to keep it red according to realclearpolling.com, just for verification purposes and for clarification as well, that some websites and polling have Texas as light pink, and some even have it as purple as a toss-up battleground, but it's still supposed to go to Trump since he won it the last two times he ran. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, with 10 electoral votes, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a .2 lead in Wisconsin, making Wisconsin red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan, according to realclearpolling.com, Michigan, Trump has a 1.2 lead, making Michigan red for Donald J. Trump. That gives him Wisconsin's 10 electoral votes and Michigan's 15 electoral votes. And he's been doing a lot of rallies in Michigan and Detroit and the surrounding areas where the auto manufacturers are, and they're being pushed out in favor of electric, um, electric vehicle production by the Democrats. That's probably why the factories that still make gasoline-powered cars are voting more heavily for Donald J. Trump because they don't want to update to the standards is what some of them were saying after his rallies. They don't want to update to the standards of electric vehicles. They don't want to have to learn a new skill. So the older people, 
that have been making gasoline-powered cars versus electric cars are leaning heavily toward Donald J. Trump. There are some that want Kamala Harris to win because they like to learn new things. They want to learn the electric vehicle um, manufacturing process, and they're open to change. But as of right now, Michigan leans towards Donald J. Trump for those reasons, for people that are going to complain and say that Michigan is super blue or whatever. It was in 2020. But Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is two clicks pink for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is two clicks pink for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Georgia, according to RealClearPolling.com, Georgia's 16 electoral votes are red for Donald J. Trump. Trump has a 1.8 lead in Georgia right now. Some people were complaining on one or two of our map videos saying that Kamala's early voting in Georgia is way ahead of Donald J. Trump's. But that's early voting statistics. Real clear polling is going off of the people that they polled in the state. Um, South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a .5 lead in North Carolina, giving him the 16 electoral votes, making North Carolina red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a huge battleground state. Trump needs this state to win. Kamala kind of needs it to win if she has no other pathways to victory, but she has about five pathways to victory to Trump's two pathways to victory. Trump either needs to flip three swing states to his side and win Pennsylvania to win, or he needs to get five swing states and not Pennsylvania in order to win the election. So, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump's 0.8 lead in Pennsylvania gives his 19 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump, making Pennsylvania red for Donald J. Trump. New York, with 28 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine, the first district, the littlest part on the bottom right of Maine, is blue for Kamala Harris. But Maine itself is flip-flopping. According to realclearpolling.com, Maine M.E. itself is red for Donald J. Trump. However, Maine at large is tilting blue, so making Maine at large blue for Kamala Harris. It's flip-flopping between red and blue, ladies and gentlemen. Maine is, I mean, in the grand scheme, its total is four electoral votes because of its districts, but it's not really, I mean, it's not a deal-breaker. Both candidates, don't get me wrong, need as many electoral votes as they can get, and these one or two or these four electoral votes in Maine could flip the election in someone's favor, but it doesn't really matter right now in the grand scheme. Pennsylvania is what both candidates are heavily aiming for, Pennsylvania and Michigan. So this is just for clarification so people don't say that we're biased. They always say, oh, you're a Trump supporter. Oh, you're a Kamala supporter. It's if Both, both sides are saying that we're supporters. Obviously, we're really good at being non-biased because you guys can't decide what side we're on. New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris, giving her the blue wave and splash that she so desperately needed. This puts Kamala Harris at 226 electoral votes and Donald J. Trump at 312, nabbing him the presidential election according to RealClearPolling.com, not according to Bags and President Ross, according to RealClearPolling.com. I'm the highly illustrious, everlasting President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out.